Well, good evening, everyone, or good day, whatever time of day it is for you. It's Nancy, the nurse practitioner from Caregiver Success, and I'm here with my good friend, Beverly Kroger. We are going to talk about uh, what is a word wall. And from what I understand from Beverly is that she sees it as her concept to bring people back to the basics of communication and properly greeting people by their given name rather than sweetie, honey, or some generic term. And then moving into points of interest to indicate you are seeking a meaningful relationship. Love the whole idea of this word wall. And so I'm going to just be asking Beverly some questions and we'll be showing you some of her word walls. And uh, welcome, Beverly. Hi, Nancy. How are you? Great. How are you doing tonight or today? <laughs> All is well here on our side of the world in Cincinnati. Okay, that's great. We're okay up here in Connecticut too. It's uh, vaccinating time, so we're all very busy. But um, tell us why and what the word wall is and why you invented it. So word wall is um, positive reinforcement, a visual reminder, a subliminal message. Um, it's a visual communication tool. And I created it um, for just that, for that visual reminder. Um, and it was actually part of creating a culture change in the original development. Um, so yeah, we all need reminders all the time. And, and when you see those positive words, it, it keeps you in a positive state of mind. I like the, the subliminal part because there's a lot to be said about just one word on a wall or something that says you're awesome. Right. And, and you're like, who's saying that to me? Who's talking? And it's just words on a wall or words on a board or a picture. So I love what words can say. They could be meaning, meaningful and they could be mean, <laughs> but words are important. They, they tell them, they give us a message. They make us communicate with each other. Absolutely. So tell us about what you're seeing and envisioning this word wall and where you'd like to see these word walls. Well, my focus is in the healthcare field. Um, people with dementia to tell their story, elderly people to tell their story, not just for their caregivers, but for them too, for their reminder, for their memory trigger. Mm -hmm. um, so in a, in a nursing home setting, for instance, um, above a bed, I am, mm -hmm. and, and the name. So anyone who comes into the room knows who they are instantly so they can greet them by name so i did this in my mom's nursing home room and above her bed it said i am jerry i am mom i'm grandma i am Gigi Ma. i am the world to my family so when people came in to see her they didn't have to flip through her chart if they were brand new and didn't already know her name Mm -hmm. It was right there. So the instant they came in the room, they were able to greet her and say, hi, Jerry. And she would just light up because I think in her mind that meant they know me. That's a friend of mine. That's Rather than hi, sweetie, there's no connection there. Yeah, yeah. That, that's such a generic thing, like you said. And a lot of people say that it's actually kind of... Um, not disrespectful, but almost like you said, it almost, uh, it just doesn't make the, it's not a personal name. It's right. not personal. It lacks connection. Yes. Um, and, and having that identity mm. to, to address them as who they are um, and to humanize, I, I'm the world to my family. Yeah. I'm, in, I'm important. So this is where you feel like it helps people connect just by reading the words. They're in somebody's room. They already know who lives in that room from the words that you have in the room. Even if the person wasn't there, you would say, oh, so Gigi's in this room. Oh, when we see her later, her name is Gigi, which is really cute. And you also had another wall in her room, right? So yes, um, the one above her bed is her introduction because my mom had dementia and as her daughter, I always wanted her to have her introduction. She was always such a social person and I never wanted to worry about her having her own introduction. So that was one piece. And then on another wall, I told her story. 
so that they had enough information, again, walking in the room to pull from, to have a meaningful conversation with her. Because with dementia, as we all know, it depends on where your brain is that day, what's going on as to what you can pull from to communicate. So when people started the conversation with her and triggered something, she was always able to communicate. But for her to have to come up with something wasn't always easy. So. Again, um, for my mom, I wanted to make sure she always had that information. So I became, the wall became her voice. I, I made it her voice. That's great. So tell us what's behind you. What's the word wall behind you for an example? So that's in my home office, um, lead the way. And the things that I think are important um, to be a leader, the, the, the things that you need to do to lead others. Um, so that's my reminder. Again, we all need reminders all the time. And these reminders are positive emotional attractors, again, to keep you in that positive state of mind. That's really wonderful. So you have some word walls that you shared with me and you'd like to. Okay, so Beverly, tell us about this one. So that's the one I mentioned in my mom's room. Um, powerful introduction above her bed um, and then information about her so they could easily pull anything from that wall and start a conversation and she could engage with them. Um, in the middle there, la di da, my mom uh, paid it forward many years uh, before going to a nursing home by being a nursing home ministry clown. So pulling information from that, you wouldn't just get engagement, you would get incredible laughter. Mm -hmm. and, and you said your dad was also a clown, right? He was, they were both clowns. So um, when I would say, mom, who, who, my dad's clown name was Jaime, I would say, well, you were Lottie Da, but who was Jaime? Oh my goodness, she would laugh and laugh. And Oh, that's so funny. And these word walls actually became uh, more than engagement. As she declined, as she was able to function less, they were an indicator really um, to show that decline mm -hmm. when she was no longer able to read the words to me. The hospice chaplain, every time she was there, she would sit in front of the wall with my mom and they would talk about everything on that wall. So as it got closer and closer and she was less able to talk, again, they were an indicator for us. That's, that's really, really wonderful. Let's show another slide to them. What about this one? So this is a dear gentleman, 96 year old, 41 year army veteran. Um, this actually was in his home um, until recently, he's just moved to um, assisted living and it's now in his assisted living room. Um, but he, you know, he, he just said, what a reminder for me to look at this. And every time I would look at it, even if I looked at the same word or phrase, it would trigger a new memory, something I had forgotten, but it would bring it up and trigger it. And um, so yeah, he just absolutely loves it. And I'm excited. His wife has one as well. Um, so now that they're in assisted living, they have their walls there with them. So I like the colors, you know, the blue and the, is it more red, orange, yeah. red? Blue and red for, for, um, you know, military. He no, was, that's great. Co yeah. the color and means a lot. Absolutely. And he had no idea why I was asking him, but I, I sat down with him and I said, what are the most important things to you? If we wanted to describe you and your life to someone, tell me the most important things. And he had no idea what I was doing. And he was, I put it up and surprised him and he was so excited. That's great. So you're a good listener too, to help people make these word walls, which is really, really important as part of the talent you have. Let's look absolutely, at absolutely. Okay. If they're able to, to tell you what they want, even better. Isn't that true? Now, this one I really love. I, I wanted to keep this because I know it's in a facility, right? Where our right. older people live. 
Tell us about this one. This is in a facility in Naples, Florida. It's absolutely a gorgeous facility. And the administrator there wanted to thank her staff for what they do every day for their residents. Mm -hmm. And it's very near the front door. So every employee passes it as they come in the door and as they leave. So, you know, they get that, that thank you, uh, that pump up, that positivity coming in the door. Thank you for loving our residents. Thank you for making a difference. All the things that caregivers do and, you know, the days are so busy, someone may not say it to them. So they have that message, they have that subliminal reminder all the time that they are appreciated, they are valued for what they do. That's really, really nice. So I think we'll stop that for a minute and just go back to, so uh, people do get involved in making their own or creating their own word walls or people in nursing homes is where you're focusing your attention, nursing homes, um, healthcare facilities, um, senior living, housing, right? Is that where you'd like to mostly see these projects? Really, you know, they're, they're, um, they can go anywhere in any venue. Mm -hmm. It's customizable, so it can say anything you want it to say. Mm -hmm. My passion um, is obviously for the elderly and certainly for dementia. Um, but yes, they're, they're um, customizable, so. And so how are they installed, Beverly? Tell us more about what they look like, how are they put up, how do you, how do you build them, all that. So you go on my website, communicatingonpurpose.com, go to create a word wall, and um, choose your words, phrases, colors, and uh, if you need help, you call me. If you need a wordsmith or you need some help, the material is, um, it's PVC. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice um, product. And actually, when you get this on your wall, it, it's art. It's word art. Um, so it's an amazing beautification to a room. And what I use to hang them is just a 3M strip, 3M picture hanger. So that when you remove them, or if you decide to rearrange them and put them back up in a different order, there's no damage to your wall. You never know they were there. Yeah, and right. the nicety is you can, again, take them if you move somewhere, take them with you. Yeah. Um, I have in, in my home office, one of my signs you couldn't see on my mom's wall that was in her room and in front of her bed, the sign reads, it's a good day to have a good day. And I have such fond memories of her saying that over and over and her smiles and the look on her face and the sweet way she would look at me after she said it. And so the, the signs have dual purpose that you can bring them home, do what you want with them. I have that one here with me and it brings back fabulous memories for me every day. It's the first thing I see walking into my office in the morning. That's so, so neat. I love this concept. So how can we reach you, Beverly, for more information? I know we have the communicatingonpurpose.com site, everyone, where you could create your own wall. Uh, I will be putting this on my Facebook page, forward slash caregiver success. So you'll have the information there and then you could build your own wall, but you could always call Beverly or email her if you have some questions to get some personal touch um, that you need, right, Beth? Absolutely. Uh, Bev at communicatingonpurpose.com. And my area code is 513-580-7225 by phone. And yeah, I'm absolutely willing to help anyone. I just, it's, it's such a fun thing to do. And again, it's about positivity and, and spreading joy. If we can bring smiles to the face of others through positive communication, it's a beautiful thing. It sure is. Well, everyone, I'm so glad you uh, joined us to today, tonight. And I will have this information on my Facebook page. Um, this is Nancy, the nurse practitioner from Caregiver Success. Thank you for joining us till the next video. Bye, Beverly. Thank you, Nancy. Bye-bye. Talk soon. Bye.